Hello and welcome to Project Wise Administrator Fundamentals Accreditation Course Renaming and Replacing Project Wise Documents. In this lesson, we will learn how to rename Project Wise Documents. We will also learn how to replace an out of date Project Wise document. We will also learn how to configure Project Wise such that the file name and the document name must match. In the process of generating and producing a document, whether it's on our local drive or the network drive, it's pretty common that from time to time, we may need to rename a document. In Windows Explorer and the File Explorer, this is what happens when we rename a document. We give it a new name. And all of a sudden, we get a dialog window telling us it cannot be renamed because the document is being opened and being worked on. It's actually quite annoying because there is no visual clue to let us know ahead of time that the document is currently open. And so therefore, the rename operation is not allowed. So let's see what it is like to rename a project-wise document. First of all, the very first icon that associates with the document, the document permission icon or the document status icon. These give us a really good clue that there are some documents which cannot be renamed at this time. For example, documents with a padlock icon, documents with an open book icon, or even a document with a red check icon. These are the documents that cannot be renamed because the rename command is being grayed out or disabled. Let's choose a document that we can rename. Here in this dialog window, we can give a new name for the document and even a new name for the description. But the highlight of this dialog window is the toggle button next to the padlock icon. This padlock icon is not the same padlock that we see in the document list area. This does not mean that another project-wise team member is working on this document. It's a fact that when a file is presented with a project-wise document, it must have document name and file name, and they don't have to be the same. So the padlock in this dialog window gives the user a chance to decide should the document name and the file name to be the same. When the padlock is locked, the file name and the document name must match. When the padlock is open, users can provide a new document name as well as the new file name. Again, the document name and the file name don't have to match. To avoid confusion to our users, it is recommended that both document name and file name to be the same. There is a setting that ProjectWise Administrator can configure just to do that. So here is the separate software program which ProjectWise Administrators have access to. Right-click on the data source, Properties, and then on the Settings tab, scroll down until we can find the Documents section. Administrator can enable this option to force the file name to be the same as the document name. Go ahead and hit Apply. After the configuration changes takes place, you can see that when we try to rename a project-wise document, user no longer have the option to try and make the document name and the file name to be different. So in other words, the file name must match with the document name. 
In the next few minutes, we will discuss how to replace a project-wise document. We have a situation here where a project-wise document is not most up-to-date. We have received the latest version of the document via an email attachment. We have already downloaded this document and we put it into the downloads folder. Now let's see how we can replace this document with the one that is stored in ProjectWise. So this ProjectWise document is out of date and we need to replace with the one that is in the downloads folder. To replace a ProjectWise document, we need to open the document properties window. Here we notice that the document name and the file name are exactly the same and that the padlock is checked and grayed out. To replace a document, we need to click on the advanced button and then import. We will get a warning message such that if we are about to replace a CAD document, for instance, the DGN or the DWG file, we must run the scan references utility to ensure the integrity of the references for the new document. This utility will be covered in a separate lesson. Since we are replacing an Excel file, so we can ignore this message for now and just click yes. We can go to the downloads folder and choose the document that we want to replace. So just take a note, the document name in ProjectWise is different from the document name in the downloads folder. Go ahead and click on the open button to continue with the replace operation. We notice the synchronized names dialog window opens. Here we have a chance to replace the document content and leave the ProjectWise document name as is. Then choose use original document name. If we want to use the document name that we see in the downloads folder, then we can choose the option use new file name. Let's go ahead and do that and click OK. Now we see that the ProjectWise document is being replaced along with the new name for the ProjectWise document. When we replace the ProjectWise document with the one from the downloads folder, we use the advanced import command. You may have noticed there was the advanced replace command. This will allow us to replace a project-wise document with another project-wise document. During this lesson, we have learned how to rename project-wise documents. We also learned how to replace an out-of-date project-wise document as well as how to configure ProjectWise to force the file name to be exactly the same as the document name. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.